starts now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. This time of year, a popular activity for many people is to drive around and look at the Christmas lights. And one venue in Oneida County just dedicated their entire property to holiday decorations. And that display is now open for the public to enjoy. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson gives us a look. Basically, everyone, every one of the employees here played some part in it. At Rondole Ranch in Rhinelander, the holiday season is a team effort. Whether the, the office people placing orders for us, right up to the people who were actually putting the lights on and, and um, setting up the displays. Tina Waltman not only set up the displays, she designed them. What I did was I got my paper and my pencil out and I drew up a design. And so then we, from the paper uh, drawing that I do, I then go and I take quarter inch cold roll steel, I cut and I bend the pieces and then we weld them together and paint them and put the lights on them. Waltman is happy to carry on a growing tradition at Rondelay, which Vonda Backus has organized for years. We have over a million lights this year. Vonda says this year's light show will be better than ever before. And it's something that we're very proud of this year. Vonda says almost half a year is spent working on the Christmas show. Each area of the property tells a different story. You'll see lighted tunnels that are as big as some of them that you see in Las Vegas. You will see characters, animation, you will see um, beautiful trees in so many different colors. Um, these lights are very well crafted and put together. After doing the light show for a few years now, Vonda says people are realizing Rondelay is more than just an event venue. We do it because we want to give back to the community. Any public event that we have, we always turn those profits back into the community. 100% of them. Tina does her part to see her creations come to light. It's very satisfying, I mean, to be able to come out and create things and then actually see them. The light show will run throughout the holiday season so everyone can get a chance to experience it. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Rhinelander, I'm Morgan Johnson. And in addition to driving through, you can also walk through the light show or take a wagon ride. Proceeds raised go to the Salvation Army and the Lakeland Union High School Band, which is raising money to go to the Rose Bowl in 2023. And Jeff, it's going to look more like Christmas after some fresh snow tonight. Yeah, some light snow is about six hours away. All snow this time with temperatures hanging out in the teens across north central Wisconsin. We'll have lows about where they are right now. They could actually rise a bit overnight tonight as the clouds roll in and the snow showers get going. Uh, but overall, the wind has finally pulled back almost at zero now across our area out of the northeast around five. Generally, this will go calm for several hours tonight as this wind event is now over. All right, so here we go. The clouds are thick across the area. Now there could be a couple flurries between now and midnight, but the main event is still over here. Uh, this thing is weak. It's moisture starved. It's moving pretty quickly, so not a lot of snow with it, but still a little bit of snow and it's all going to stick, uh, which will make your morning commute tomorrow morning uh, a bit difficult in cross parts of the area. All right, so here's the snowfall map, maybe an inch, an uh, inch and a half in a few select spots. This will not be a big snow. Our forecast tonight then is increasing clouds, a couple of flurries out there. Some light snow after midnight with low temperatures down near 14. Your full forecast coming up, Justin. Jeff, as COVID-19 numbers continue to rise in Wisconsin, Aspirus Health Leaders announced they are now delaying non-emergency surgeries that would normally require hospital stays because patient rooms are in such high demand. Aspirus leaders say 106 out of the 137 people hospitalized this week for COVID-19 were not fully vaccinated. It's about 77% of their patients, despite most people these days being vaccinated. And they say 90% of patients needing the ICU are not fully vaccinated. Right now, Wisconsin has the third highest rate of positive COVID cases in the country for this week. As COVID-19 case numbers continue to rise across the country, more businesses, sports leagues, and performance venues are again either shutting down or putting restrictions back in place. Chris Pallone is the latest from Capitol Hill. 
In many schools, unvaccinated children who are exposed to COVID are sent home to quarantine. But in the CDC's new test to stay strategy, they remain in school as long as they don't show symptoms and test negative at least twice in a week. The CDC conducted studies in two school districts. One prevented 8,000 missed school days using test to stay. Another that didn't use it lost 92,000 school days. These studies demonstrate that test to stay works to keep unvaccinated children in school safely. The downside is it takes a lot of tests and people to give them to make the program work. That's why the CDC continues to urge schools to use masks, ventilation, social distancing, and hand washing to slow the spread and for parents to get children over five vaccinated. Looking specifically at vaccine safety data from over 50,000 children, five to 11 years old, we found no evidence of serious safety concerns. It comes as much of the nation is already dealing with a surge in COVID cases, still mostly due to the Delta variant. And the White House warns the Omicron variant could fuel an exponential rise in infections and deaths in the coming weeks. New research shows Omicron spreads 70 times faster than Delta, but existing mRNA booster shots appear to do a good job preventing serious illness. It is critical to get vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, it is critical for optimal protection to get boosted. So far, just 40 percent of people eligible for booster shots have gotten them, though the pace has picked up recently as evidence mounts getting boosted is the best protection against Omicron. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington. Today, one person is dead after a house fire in Lincoln County this morning. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says it happened just before 6 a.m. in the town of Pine River, east of Merrill. They say when law enforcement and fire officials arrived, they could see the flames coming out of windows. One person inside was pronounced dead at the scene. Their name is not being released until officials finish notifying family. The cause of that fire remains under investigation. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection confirms two white-tailed deer at a Portage County hunting ranch have tested positive for chronic wasting disease. They say the 200-acre farm and its herd of about 370 deer are now under quarantine while state and U.S. vegetarians investigate, sorry, veterinarians investigate. CWD is a deadly neurological disease in deer, elk, and moose caused by an infectious protein that affects the animal's brain. An 11-year-old girl from Minnesota learned to stitch during the pandemic. Now she's doing lots of it to help others. Erin Hassan Zeta reports. This is the most basic stitch. When COVID-19 forced us into our homes last year, Abby Stovern turned to the internet for inspiration. Were you kind of bored during the pandemic? Yes. And she landed. I call it a hook. I don't know what it's actually called. On knitting. My mom got me a loom. With a little help from YouTube, she kept going. At first, I would like only make maybe like one a day, and then I was making a couple a day. And going. We were giving them as Christmas presents, but there's so, just like so many. So Abby found a home for some of her homemade hats, putting them in her church's essential kits for people experiencing homelessness. And that was just the start. Oh, we've done like Minnesota Oncology and we've done like some women's shelters and we went to Children's Hospital. I was really happy. I think she makes a difference in somebody else's life. I like that she knows what it's like to give back. To date, Abby has given away hundreds of hats and donated more than $2,500 to charity. What's your goal for the end of 2022? Well, I don't know if I'll make it now, but it's to donate $10,000. She certainly doesn't do it for the attention. A little shy about it? Yeah. She does it because it feels good. Warming heads and hearts. I've always liked helping people. I think that's why. Cute story. After the break, Jeff's in with your full weekend forecast, plus all the latest from the ground in Kentucky, where tornado cleanup efforts continue today. We're watching Newswatch 12 at 5. When you're ready to relax on a Sunday afternoon, Tune in to 91.7 WXBR for Sunday Afternoon Jazz and listen to a great selection of the best in jazz. From 1 to 4 p.m. Sundays, listen to America's Classical Music on WXBR. Dateline tonight. A young woman's courage after a terrible attack helped catch a killer. But from that story's end came a startling twist. Is it crazy? Is it bizarre? Absolutely. Dateline tonight, 10, 9 central. It's the Paul Rudd Show. Oh, wow! Is that Hello. Okay. Your host, Paul Rudd. I'm gonna jump. This guy's crazy. Ah! Leaves 
Electrical Gas, Charlie XCX. Here's it. You know what I'm going to miss most about space? What's that? How easy it is to keep up my saving habit. There's nothing to buy up here. We're making it easier to save on Earth, too. When you open a savings builder account at BMO Harris, you can get a cash reward for every month you save. Anything to help launch my savings? Sure. When you open a checking account, we'll give you $200 to kickstart your savings progress. $200 and a monthly savings reward. It's a way to save that won't weigh you down. <laughs> it's a little space humor. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready. And the only place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Get the Ford SUV that's perfect for your family's holiday traditions. Ford Explorer, Escape, or Bronco Sport with our best offers of the season. Inventory is arriving daily, so see your Ford dealer today and get holiday ready. Now get a Ford Edge with 0% financing for 60 months, plus 1,500 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. From polka to punk and everything in between, WXPR Public Radio plays a wide variety of music you won't hear anywhere else. Listen on your radio, online at WXPR.org, and on your smart speaker. Friday with high temperatures near 16 today and around there. That's about 11 degrees below the average high temperature this time of year of 27. The average low being 10. Look at that record low of 25 below back in 1983. So that's what the atmosphere can do. And the sun sets later on or earlier at 415. By the way, next week we start gaining daylight around here. Okay, so temperatures out there now are about at the highs for today because these are actually going to rise a little bit tonight still as we have cloud cover entering the area and then a little bit of snow forecasted overnight tonight. Okay, so here we are going forward though. So we're basically in the cold now. Uh, no real spikes in temperature anytime soon. 24 tomorrow, 25 for Sunday, 29 Monday. That's the warm day. Still below freezing. So we'll build the ice on the lakes for sure. Uh, do we get some snow on the way? Well, a little bit's going to arrive for us tomorrow morning and then maybe a bit more in the forecast for us on Tuesday. So there is some snow, not a lot of snow. This is not the big one, but overall uh, we'll get a little bit of snow in here after midnight tonight, lingering into tomorrow morning. It looks like a one, one and a half inch snowfall for most of us, although a couple of you might get closer to two inches with this. Uh, let's check in on the numbers so far. So coming into today, 30.9 inches of snow so far this snow season in Rhinelander. We're up against 55.1 for all of last season in Rhinelander. Uh, so yeah, we're doing pretty good on pace, right? By the way, last year as of today, only 13.4 inches in Rhinelander. So we're ahead of schedule across northern Wisconsin. Looking outside now, we'll most likely get a couple of flurries in here tonight. Overall, though, mostly cloudy. The energy is still off to our west right over here. And again, this thing is weak. It's moisture starved. All the moisture is stuck with this system across the south, which, by the way, is going to bring places like New York and Philadelphia and Boston snow tomorrow. If you're traveling that way, you have trouble on the horizon. Uh, but for us, though, you see, that's our little guy right there. There's not much to it. Moving in our direction for tonight into tomorrow morning. It'll give us some light snow, but ground temperatures are very cold. Whatever falls is going to stick, so the morning ride tomorrow could be a bit slippery across our area. Futurecast shows the clouds out there now. Lights are developing about midnight tonight and then lingering through about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, this is not the big one. The map looks something like this, so a little narrow band of an inch and a half or so of snow. Although most of us, if not all of us, will get something from this, there'll be a narrow band of an inch or two across parts of Lincoln County, so Oneida County, back over toward Langley County as well. All right, so will that give us a white Christmas? Well, we need one inch on the ground Christmas Day to give us a white Christmas, and historically, about a 95% chance of that happening. We have two inches out there right now with an inch on the way tomorrow, and temperatures below freezing probably through Christmas. We're in pretty good shape. Our forecast then tonight, though, is increasing clouds, some light snow after midnight, Low temperatures probably rising a bit tonight, around 14 where they are right now. For tomorrow, all right, here we go. It's Saturday, so light snow early again, an inch or so across the area, turning mostly cloudy through the afternoon with high temperatures back in the mid-20s. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows that light snow tomorrow. Sunday, we're quiet, 25. Monday, 29. Another chance for a little bit of light snow on Tuesday, maybe an inch or two then. And Christmas Eve is on the map a week from today with a high temperature 
quarter of 26. Just a week away. All right, thanks, Jeff. Today, the search continues in Kentucky for the missing victims of last weekend's deadly tornadoes there. And there's some concern this same region could see more severe weather this weekend. Jay Gray has the latest from Dawson Springs. A constant rain makes things more difficult. Right but for survivors. We're packing um, up what's left of mom's uh, porcelain and her porcelain dolls. We've been packing since Saturday. The water doesn't stop the work. There's too much to do, and they've been through so much worse. I was coming out of the bathroom, and the wind blew me across the hall and set me down against that wall over there. Miraculously, Jerry Cotton wasn't hurt when the winds ripped apart her home. And God was holding his hand over me. The 77-year-old is known as Nana in her Dawson Springs neighborhood. A neighborhood that, for the most part, is gone now. A week after the storm, she says her emotions have shifted from shock and sadness to anger. I met at the tornado. It, it took my life away from me, everything I had. Crews are clearing away what they can during breaks in the weather. We are digging out. Yes, we are down. Yes, we are hurting. But we are not defeated and we are not broken. Determination echoed back. by Nana. Yeah, I'm coming back. This is home. This is home. The tornado tearing apart so much, but unable to break the resolve of those that remain. Most everyone you talk with here says they do plan to rebuild, though most are also very quick to point out they're not sure things will ever be the same. Jay Gray, NBC News, Dawson Springs, Kentucky. Well, still ahead, we'll tell you about some warming shelters now open in the Northwoods. Mar windstorm the other day. Plus, we have my final edition of My Two Cents, my last one after the break. This is your country. I'm getting them good. This is Hodag Country. With Double M and the Morning Hodag and the best country all day long. Like Hodag Country, 97.3 WHDG. Give the gift of art this holiday season. Artist Christine Alfrey is offering two limited edition signed coffee table books for the holiday season. Individualism and the middle is not gray. These books are a beautiful summary of Christine's work in 2021, celebrating each unique individual and their wonderful spirit. Christine is also offering desk calendars featuring her works from these two series. Visit Christine's website at christinealfrey.com to order yours today. Whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter, we at Burns Insurance are here for you. It is our passion to ensure your passion. We want to wish you a very safe and healthy holiday season. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Why choose People State Bank? Our digital tools make banking easy. Manage all your bills and payments with our online bill pay. Simple person-to-person -person payment compatible with all major digital wallets. Misplace your debit card? Simply turn it off and on with the touch of a button. Put people's digital tools to work for you. Learn more at bankpeoples.com. Is your basement broken? Is your crawl space a disaster? Is the concrete around your house sinking or uneven? If the answer is yes, call SureDry. Voted best basement waterproofing and foundation repair company across Northeast and Central Wisconsin. We've offered permanent solutions to more than 25,000 satisfied customers since 1994. We've probably fixed your neighbor's basement, crawl space, or concrete, and we'd love to fix yours too. Call SureDry today. Several thousand people across the Northwoods are still without power after this week's windstorm. And there are now a few warming centers set up in Oneida County for anyone who needs them. However, none of them are open 24 hours a day. United County Sheriff's Office says the Walmarts in both Rhinelander and Minocqua are now open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. seven days a week. And the United County Health and Aging Building on West Keenan Street is open from 8 a.m. until 4.30. All three places welcome folks coming in to get warm. Which brings us to this week's My Two Cents because we got a couple Facebook messages from a viewer who was unimpressed by both the storm 
and our coverage of it. Now, I've cut out the person's name, but he wrote, and we fixed some spelling errors. How do your meteorologists keep your job? Well, again, ignore the spelling issues. Uh, this was during the storm, so I was maybe a little more prickly than usual. I wrote back, why? Is there an issue with the forecast? Just been saying since Monday to expect extremely strong winds to start between ooh, 10 Wednesday night and midnight Thursday morning. Here we are at 11 Wednesday. The wind is howling. I gave him our two cents number in case he was interested. He wrote back, well, thanks, buddy, for the text back. Was wondering if I was going to get one. Hey, I understand you can't predict Mother Nature, but we thought we were going to get blown off the face of the earth tonight. But hey, man, you can't get it right all the time. All right, so sometimes we do, in fact, get things wrong. This was not one of them. Jeff predicted the wind speeds, the time, the location, the likelihood of all the tornadoes fairly precisely, which is hard. But despite what he said, obviously, people can hear and understand things differently, which is an issue in news, too. When I show COVID numbers and say the number of new cases being reported in Wisconsin has more than doubled since the end of October, but the number of deaths has not increased to the rate we saw last November and December, that's my attempt to be as accurate as possible with context, but without giving an opinion. Now, if you're already scared and interpret that to mean Everyone's gonna die. Or if you're annoyed by COVID protections and think I'm fear mongering, either way, that's on you. Though I get it, I'm just trying to give you information so that you can form your own opinions. And most of you understand that. Now, normally this is the time I invite you to call in and leave your opinions, but I'm not doing that today because this is my last, my two cents here. I'm leaving Newswatch 12 for a new anchoring job in Fargo, North Dakota. And my last day is next Thursday, December 23rd. Well, my family and I are, are very excited. I don't want to celebrate my goodbye. I know it can be hard when reporters leave. And I know our relationship is a little different than most reporters because you see me every day. I'm an anchor. I'm not fresh out of college. I'm not waiting for the next job. So this is a little different, but it has been my pleasure serving you for the last two years. And you're not getting rid of me just yet. Again, my last day is next Thursday, so I'll be here until then. In the meantime, we'll be right back with one final look at your forecast after the break. Tackle tough jobs with Bosch power tools and accessories from Menards. From the workshop to the job site, Bosch packs the performance and features you need to get the job done right. That's why Bosch is the choice of pros. Choose from our great selection of over 500 in-stock Bosch tools, bits, blades, and accessories. This drill and impact driver kit is $99. Plus, give the perfect gift with the Menards gift card. Warning season's greetings to you all from Menards. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready. And the only place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Get the Ford SUV that's perfect for your family's holiday traditions. Ford Explorer, Escape, or Bronco Sport with our best offers of the season. Inventory is arriving daily, so see your Ford dealer today and get holiday ready. Now get a Ford Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. Goodwill starts with you this holiday season. As you get ready to open your door to family and friends, shop Goodwill for great deals on festive decor, one-of-a-kind outfits, and do-it-yourself gift supplies, perfect for any holiday gathering. You'll also be opening the door to job training and opportunities for neighbors in our community. Your purchases and donations save items from the landfill and keep the holiday spirit alive all year round. Goodwill starts with you. WJJQ is giving away $2,500 in $25 gift certificates during our 25 Days of Christmas giveaway. Visit WJJQ.com for information in the 25 Days of Christmas giveaway from WJJQ. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. 
We fight for what's right. A globe, which historians say may be the oldest ever brought to auction, just sold for $150,000. Wow. They say the carved wood and paper sphere dates to the 1550s or 60s, and it does not include the continent of Australia Oops. because no one in Europe knew it existed yet. It, it does yet. feature a crude a sketch of North America simply labeled De Victa and 1530, or Conquered in 1530. The seller says she bought the globe for $150. All right, so that's cool, but I mean, most people then thought the Earth was flat, the, right? Well, the, the, by areas this, not discovered. By this point, they, they had a good idea that it was a sphere, it, but their sense of geography was a little off. It's, this has been like in her garage for a long she time? Bought, she bought this, this was like an antique that she oh, bought for 150 bucks. All right, here we go. All right, weather-wise for us, uh, cold temperatures again tonight, yeah. a little bit of light snow overnight tonight, yeah. and then kind of a quiet stretch head in our way. Yeah. Let's go outside now and check on temperatures. So here we are, we got stuck basically in the teens today, which you know, those without power, this That's is not cold. good news. However, yeah. they are making good progress on restoring power across the area. Yeah, are. There are still lots of people who don't have it. I understand that, mm -hmm. but still there are many crews working very hard tonight, uh, but there's some light snow on the way. So this is gonna slow your roll tomorrow. Whatever falls will stick because ground temperatures are back below freezing uh, because you know, it's not 54 degrees like it was the other day. Sure. We're held in the teens today. So uh, the morning commute, your drive around, go us. Uh, shopping for toys, whatever tomorrow is going to be a little bit slippery. And then looking ahead, your seven day includes well, here we go Sunday quiet, Monday quiet too. Yeah. A little bit of light snow on Tuesday, or a couple signs, maybe get some snow on Christmas Eve, but that's still a week away from today. Just enough snow to guarantee that white Christmas. Just enough. Without yes. causing too many problems. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on News Watch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next.